Man, how long has it been? Two weeks now? Yeah, I'm sorry. People keep coming over. I live in the boarding house from Love Hina. Matoko keeps coming to me and bitching about how much men suck. Yeah, that that is probably what's going on with you. Which is a big unfortunate shame, but we work with things, S don't we? Yeah, for some reason, Sue has the most hearts out of anyone. So look at that. Look at all the progress we got. I think she it's probably time found my. Uh, she probably found my Marvel vs. Capcom action figures. Uh oh. So I think it's time we finally start in the Dr. Wily stage of Mega Man 1 again and actually do those right this time, because last time we, uh. <laughs> I last time you sucked. Last time with the Magnet <clears throat> Beam, that did not go so well. Primarily because I hate the Magnet Beam and I think it's stupid. But that's a different story. Well, mate. Well, Mega Man, if you think you suck with the magnet beam, you also suck with loading states. All of a sudden, a metal claw reaches out of the laptop and then presses the load state button. Oh, God. Uh, okay. I remember what to do here. Um, well, what I have to do is wait for the frame rate to stabilize. Ah, uh, that'll be fine. It'll probably be like that for the rest. Oh, that was nice of them. That's an extra life for me not to have the pause trick fighting the yellow devil. Oh, boy. Yay. I think I've only beaten the yellow devil barely twice. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they designed that boss. Um, they were thinking, have a highly damaging, very difficult to identify pattern that comes at you really quickly. Oh, damn it. I would like to say that you're in front and you're in PowerPoint mode. You should easily be able to see when the fires can be frozen or not, but that's only for me. Yeah. For now, I hope it improves. If not, you, you can work with it. Oh my. You forgot about your friends, the Dick Springs. Yeah. Dick Springs return. That's pretty irritating. Dick Springs because it's a dick move to knock you down a ladder that you just climbed. Dr. Wily, how could you? I'm having a love affair with dicks and springs, and that's not good. Next is freaking rip off a bullet bill. <laughs> Apparently they're that's actually called secret. Killer Bullet. I'm not even kidding. You mean like in Killer 7? That game had bullets in it? That were like yeah, it had soul shells, which you use to go through the veniculum gate, or however it's pronounced. Oh, well, it's not and like in the original, where if you fell off the med beam, you actually fell faster. Did you notice that? I never noticed that. I would make a terrible Mega Man for Mugen. He'd also be able to crouch while running. Oh man, Mega Man X Five Mega Man is what you would make. <laughs> oh wait, no. His X6. run is a little too slow. X6. I would think his run's too slow for that to matter. Oh god, here we go. I should put on the weapon I need to use. There we go. Let's see how often you're going, how much you're going to die. Wow, they're all close. And the frame rate has stabilized just for this fight. I'm glad it knows what you want to see. Oh wait, the lag. There's some lag going on there. How yellow devil? Only can't- lag's a good thing, you can see the things more easily now. Oh, I, I always saw them before. It's concentration one, but in Mega Man format. <clears throat> now you just have to connect with the e -sen. Oh, now- uh-oh. Wow, well, and I was worried about this. Well, now that you're playing in bullet time, it's much easier. Yeah, it is. The, the, the part that worried me the most, and now we're just gonna breeze through it. I love it. All of a sudden, it speeds up. Oh yeah, it's like turbo, turbo tan yellow devil. It does what you Boosie does sometimes with the Sega Saturn games it emulates. Oh god, that really screwed me. O that really screwed me over on Resident Evil. That's why I use SSF. That's what I use for my Mega Man videos. 
It's like the zombie was slowly coming towards me, and then all of a sudden, brain skin <laughs> biting on my neck. Oh my god! <clears throat> Wolverine. It's like it's like your boosie's being manipulated by King Crimson. You imagine MVC three speed zombie going on there? <laughs> imagine Infinity Mugen Team Velocity zombie. Oh my god! Well, he wouldn't go anywhere. He like. He'd stay in spot and then do like Balrog's headbutt and fly upwards. There we go. Wow, that looks <laughs> Yeah, with no horizontal velocity. <laughs> also, just just to, just to clarify, that explosion looks so bad. It started on his eyeball. What? Okay. It's oh, God. kind of painful if it didn't look so crappy. Hey, what are we doing in the sky? You don't remember this? Oh, right. 8-bit to 16-bit transition. What are we doing in Cloudman stage? Oh, no. Oh, man, look at all this. This is just terrible, all this weapon usage. Thankfully, it's all pretty energy conservative, so we can just do that. It's what I like. Wait, they don't refill your energy between levels? Nope, never have in a Mega Man game. Oh god, here we go. So I... you have to continue to restock. Hi, Cutsman. Yay, it's Cutsman! Oh, Mega Man! Without the blocks, I'm not gonna be so easy now, aren't I? You should be taking more damage in this, what the hell? You remember how the Buster did, like, much more? It did two. Yeah, now it's doing one. And he would flinch occasionally. Uh, I think it was all the time, actually, unless you were hitting him during him throwing the scissors. This is Cutsman from Captain N, not Cutman. Yeah, I want to do a palette and make him purple now in the game. <laughs> the only way he could be any more difficult if he was Kung Fu Cutman! Oh, yeah, God. No, he got his ass kicked by Roll. With a toaster, nonetheless. Well, yeah, I mean, that's Dustman's secondary weapon, the toaster strudel. Dustman's full of surprises. Oh, like yeah. The fact that Capcom so considered that fan submission in the first place. Hell, Mega Man, how do you like the increased difficulty? Oh, fuck! And he can't do it. It's just... Are you seriously think that, that. Okay, I, I thought that Thunder Beam would hit. I'm so nervous about these jumps. I think they're a lot tighter on here, I can't really tell. It's because you know I'm watching and judging you mercilessly. Oh Christ, really? Okay. Here comes the Lech Man, I don't think I ever got how he sounded in the show, you know, so I'm not gonna try. Look you know how fast he goes, Jesus Christ. Oh, and they're gonna start me back here! Hell Mega Man, I'm back! That's such a bullsh- Oh, damn it. No checkpoints for you. Not only are you getting no presents for Christmas, but oh. you're also getting no check- You did that on purpose. No, I did- well, maybe. I would you like to even, get- You didn't even think to use the fire. Oh! Okay, I forgot about that. There we go. Okay, you suck. Yeah, I know. Pardon me. You might me. as well just die on purpose to refill your weapons. Would that be a good idea? If it doesn't start you back to the first- Part of the Wily Fortress. Yeah, I if. don't think it would. I remember in the NES one it didn't, so... Okay. There, otherwise, without no weapons, you are no match for Mataro. What happens instead is that Cutsman's rolling cutter will hit your keyboard. Oh, well, that's more than enough energy. Wait, why is it refilled? Oh, wait, you didn't continue. You're still... You have lives left. As you know in the original Mega Man, if you grabbed the power-up that was falling in the air, you would actually stop going upwards? Yeah, that pissed me off one time. I, n <laughs> I, I always thought that was I, stupid. I only notice that crap when it screws me over. Hey Mega Man! Goldman has given me a second chance! Who? Cuts Man, there is no such thing as a second chance. Oh my that god! How'd I dodge that? that difference? Because Cutman is easy, even with added difficulty. Yeah, I, su I suppose. Even when he assumes his ultimate form, Cutsman. Yeah, her Cutsman only takes one damage from the Mega Buster. No Wait, one that bounces case, off I... him completely. His only weak point is his anal crevice. 
Why did I just do that before? Whatever. Because you wanted to save it for later or whatever those things are called, rape circles. Oh, you remember their name. What kind of dork remembers Mega Man enemy names? Shut up. You're giving me your dork. Oh, f well, I was Before I know it, I'll have Iced and Morph Man on my contact list. Shut up! <laughs> Uh-oh. I've been branded as a traitor. Oh my god. You, Holy crap! You're Christ. a traitor to the... Tr you're a traitor to the <laughs> Republican Trinity Mugen click. Did you see you that? You died and you were using his weakness. Did you see what happened? It was on its way back and it didn't hit him. Well, that's what homo genius is for, but still, you were using his weakness and you died. You know how fast he's going? He's, he didn't even flinch! You don't know how this works, man. The Genesis version well, with is me, it's, <clears throat> Well, with me, it's going in regular speed because Skype is wonderful at streaming. Oh, yeah, I know. Skype is I the... I never got third chance. Oh, fuck this. I'm gonna try to kill you this time. Once again, Cutman stands no chance against his secondary weakness, which is fire for some reason. Well, yeah. Corroding that metal, bro. Um, well, I guess if it works in Pokemon. Yeah, I suppose. Man, I wish these stages were more interesting so our commentary would be. <laughs> um, it's just the same cloudy, platform-infested stage you've seen in every other Mega Man. Dr. Friggin' Wily can't design- Okay, here we go. Oh Dr. Wily is what I would like to call the Capcom of stage design. Wait. Okay. You're gonna die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is Elecman seriously gonna be this much of an issue? You're having a harder time with him than you did Yellow Devil. Yeah, I know, that's weird! I'm tripping over my words like a deep fear character. It's alright, Mookie, you'll be fine. Oh, I wish I was Mookie. <laughs> Except for the being dead part. Yeah, that 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 might be a bit of a setback. In future commentary, I'll be like, hey Arpa, and then there'll just be no response. <laughs> Oh, he's Down here, help! Does nothing. <laughs> if only he was considerate enough to leave giant blocks around this time. Yeah, that would have been that would have been very nice of him. Why didn't I put that in the fire weapon? Whatever. Okay, I really hate making the jumps in this part. Seriously, if you're the huh? Go on. Uh. Cutman has experienced more death in this wily war than act people in actual wars. Yeah, he's gonna have more. <laughs> Although Elecman is probably feeling very proud of himself. He should be because. Oh, he's come on! You are the worst with the rolling cutter. I am when it sucks. They nerfed it to garbage tier now. It's like it hits once and then it doesn't hit him again. It doesn't work how it's- He was able to hit bosses once in the first place. No, it could hit Wily three times in the boss. And that oh, was due to- to see you go up against Wily. And that was due to corrosive hit stun because Wily didn't have any. Oh no, Arcana Heart Mechanics in Mega Man. <laughs> Infinite Mega Man with Arcana Heart Arcanus. <laughs> Oh my god, I would freaking hate to see Mr. Infinite try the homing mechanic. <laughs> that would be the worst thing. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we've we've discovered our next horrifying idea. Oh, I can go even better. Um, let's see. Let's have... Wooshak! No. <laughs> He's off limits. You know what he would do for the homing attack? He would have, like, actual homing missiles accompany the character. Or he would make it, the character turn into a 16-bit yes! Sonic and then do the homing attack. Oh, oh congratulations! Oh, God! You didn't die. Oh, <laughs> that you was failed to die again. That was such a dick move. You saw that, right? Oh, no. Yeah, it's oh, like, congratulations for winning. Surprise, grenades! <laughs> Air grenades. That's some, uh... 
That's some uh, Shadow of the Beast shit going on right there. Hey, it's Susie here to kill you because she discovered that you did in fact kill her. Yeah, I said Shadow of the Beast because you remember that one, right? Are you serious? I that remember Shadows worked. of the Damned, you suck! That jump worked in the original game! Okay, this is such... Oh, you're checkpointing here, never mind. This is why you should never play the original game before you play the Genesis port, I guess. In fact, speaking of Shadows of the Damned, I'm going to use Shadows of the Damned dialogue to evaluate your skills. You fucking suck dicks. Oh yeah, totally. I want to see you do better then. No, you don't want me to see me. You don't want to see me do. You don't want. I don't want you to see either. <laughs> I don't want to see myself play Mega Man after like a million years since I've last played a classic game. Oh man, that would be scary. It'd be like, where's the cover feature? <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't I auto healing? <laughs> There's not enough checkpoints! Oh. <laughs> Dr. Light, why aren't you pointing me in the direction I need to go? Oh fuck, I remember this now. Where's oh. the voice acting? Oh. Here comes why isn't there a story Mega only mode with no difficulty? Like Mass Effect 3, you know? Where is my... Oh, I do have an ending. Where's the DLC maps? Why can't I DLC infinite ammo? Okay, well, the good news is the clone in this one's as fast as you. He's not faster. I never really evaluated the clone's speed because I just shoot it until it dies. Not even try to dodge, but you're not at the health level to do that. Oh! You must. I thought I was... At first I thought, hey, didn't you win? But then I looked at the life bars. You're never gonna hear me complain about putting this part of the game out of the way. Never. We're gonna try to... Uh, I'm gonna hurt my... I'm gonna hate myself for doing this, but we're gonna try it with the Thunder Beam. But it's your duty to complain as a Mega Man fan. Oh yeah, about the new Street Fighter... Oh my god! <laughs> Did oh my god, they're making a Mega Man game for the PC that I'm complaining with for free! This game fucking sucks because it has Street Fighter in it. It's not Mega Man Legends 3, so I can't like it, right? <laughs> fucking people. I swear. Only the gaming community has... It's an admirable trait for a fan to try to remand a video game over bullshit. Oh, you fucking... Oh my god. Cousin Shuru. <laughs> well, somebody remembered. I remember Big the energy. last way to jokes. Come on, give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that sounded kind of... Okay, PewDiePie. Oh, pardon me. I didn't rape the energy capsule. Excuse me. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> I'm about to go there too. Why don't you just switch to the bomb and see who sucks the most? <laughs> I might do that as a bonus video. <laughs> At least he can't use a good weapon either. Well, oh, I just got a drink delivered. Okay. Uh, was it delivered by Eddie? Of course it was. Flip Top did it, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Company came in for a brief moment. They had to make you're sure drunken, you're not drunk enough to be a Canadian. They had to make sure you weren't at your boarding your boarding house duties anymore. No, Matoko. Guys don't suck. Stop whining to me about it. Boys don't cry, Matoko. <laughs> oh my God. Special <laughs> guest appearance by the Jero Jero G G G. <laughs> Can you imagine that way. in Love Hina? Just like, just this. Okay, here we go. It's the only way Love Hina could possibly. Oh my god, be. is this seriously gonna work? This is the most strategic boss fight ever, you suck. Okay, I got, I got. No! Oh! 
You're gonna have to go through all those bosses again. How? Um, I'm trying not to be angry. Why are you mad at me? Be mad at this stupid fucking game. I'm mad at your ineptitude. I'm well, excuse me for A, just waking up, and B, being used to the original game. Trying not to channel 2009 angry for no reason self. <laughs> All of, next up, you really like, you're playing Mega Man like a cat! Sorry. I'm not gonna go there. Don't go there. I, I will rage quit this stream. No, you I mean, <laughs> recording. You hear the Skype sign off sound? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sue, you want to do something more fun that's not involving chastising me? No, this is Love Hina. You're gonna be abused left and right. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? Your house is seriously the, the, the friggin' inn. I know it. It has to be. I just, I just want to picture that. Like... <laughs> You're going, no, wait a minute. Sue, I'm not gonna play Call of Duty. I'm playing Mega Man. You know, if it was that Kitsune, easy. soon, I'm half your age. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you have a dick, too. <laughs> Go bug Inu or something. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry! Santa is gonna be so pissed with us. Oh, p pardon? Zero Sandin is gonna be so pissed with us. I know, Motoko uh, Oops! Oh, I'm glad he's going to be angrier at you than me. Uh, oh, that was pretty slick looking. For once, I will be on her favor. I mean, his favor. <laughs> Yeah, Zero Sentence gender is for you to decide. <laughs> you, the viewer. <laughs> I don't know. He was quite a man when he stood up for himself against CAN, being the new Nanashi. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it in my videos. We don't want to get too subjective. Dude, nobody's going to watch this except like three people. <laughs> the video view counts like three, and they all say, You suck! <laughs> You're gonna get two dislikes automatically. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get those people that are just like that, are, that literally just subscribe to me just to dislike the video. <laughs> How dare you talk badly about a pop style? <laughs> That's what happened with my other one, actually. <laughs> and then that guy that was spreading Mel is gonna make another arrogant comment. Oh, you saw that too, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, PewDiePie Jr. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm glad you're actively reading the silly things that go on in my thing. Even if it does pertain around Mujin Lord, not Mugen Lord, Mujin Lord. Mujin Lord. Mujin Lord, Mujin Lord yeah. on the other hand, is pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah, he, he was alright with it, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, Mujin Lord's like my homeboy, and now I'm going to be kicked 500 times by Jesus Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> Martyr! <laughs> <laughs> Well, the good news is this is working out pretty all right. The good news is you're in the lead. The bad news is you're not going to be in the lead for long. Okay, you're out of fire. Now you have to use your secret weapon. The I was hoping for bombs, but okay. He jumps whenever you shoot. Maybe he ha he's playing the anniversary collection where the buttons are reversed. <laughs> All right. Oh, at least the GameCube version is. Ew! Look at the background. It looks like I'm on a rock. It looks like you're about to go to the turbo tunnel. <laughs> oh god. Well, okay. This is the Mega Man equivalent of it, even if it is piss easy. But you know, the anti-turbo tunnel. Wow, yo, this music is really fast. Like faster than the original tempo, fast. Mm, well, I can't hear it yet, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, you will. I'm just hoping it's I'm going to be the... Look at my bullets! <laughs> wow, this really is the Matrix. You are the one who will die to the copy Mega Man a million times. 
after dying to Elecman a million times. This is like so. You have a shield in front of you. I <laughs> <laughs> look so stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. We could add a bullet shield, and now here comes the bubble robot thing. CWO this... 1P. I was surprised that its name was not something stupid like Eric. <laughs> Why Eric? What kind of random name is Eric? <laughs> what kind of random name is Susie and Octopus Battery and Tackle Fire? <laughs> Well, that was easy. What are physics, by the way? I'm holding that up with my head. Mega Man's just using his infinite strength from Mr. Infinite. <laughs> He's using his super head. Because you know he would have Rakuo using regular physics in an underwater attack. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That reminds me of something Cyanide show. Oh my god. I need to show you that at one point. The in in IMT style Rakuo, right? The one that filled the, the screen with water? Yeah. Oh, you saw that then. That kind of pisses me off because I like Rakuo. Okay. Like, I'm probably, like, what, the only Rakuo liker in the Darkstalkers fandom? Okay, I need to get up there. At the same time, I'm also probably the only one who likes QB as well. Can I do this trick in this game? Come on, let me do this trick here. Hey, Wait. they added Guts, man. Does, oh, the power-ups don't respawn, damn it. If they did, I no. could- if, if, if they did, I could go back and forth like I did in the original at one point, and literally use that as a grinding spot to get free weapon energy. Why would you grind in front of me? Well, if you want to know, the grind is one of the most suggestive dance moves, and, well, I'm conveying it- <laughs> I was gonna- I was thinking you were gonna say it's one of the most suggested Mega Man tactics- suggestive Mega Man tactics. And I was gonna crack another Melty Blood joke in response. Uh, Melty Blood? <laughs> Melty Man! <laughs> Melty Man just turns you into his sister and then vacuum waves you in. <laughs> Doesn't vacuum you. He shoots a uh, hard man's hard knuckle at you first. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he needs, he needs to weaken you like a Pokemon before he carries on with his business. Uh, oh, I, hate I don't like how I'm gonna sound once the video's uploaded, aren't I? No, you're gonna sound like an old man. Dracula the and, Dirty Old Man. Hey, it's the Japanese name power-up that shows up in every old Capcom game. Yashichi! You actually remember that. Yeah! <laughs> it's, it's, it's the most useful- You- You must be the biggest 1942 fanboy in existence. Of course. I'm also the biggest Battle Monsters fan- Okay, no, there's no fans. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, except for the three-man band of Mugen, as MC2 and Moo puts it. The hipsters. Oh, I didn't think Mugen could have a hipster. Really. I figured it was all preference, but nah. Nah, we're like the Neo-Gaff of Mugen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I made you laugh so hard. No, I no, no. It was the bomb man thing going on. <laughs> Did oh. you see that? He his, he got stuck in his jump frame. <laughs> I so thought good. you were just laughing at me burning Neo Gaff. Oh, that too. But I mean, the the bomb man thing was just great. <laughs> well, bomb man was the jobber of Mega Man bosses. That's why he's the only robot master from the burst that gets put in as little media as possible. Meanwhile, Cutman, Electman, and Iceman are like, and Gutsman are the media darlings. I don't know why Gutsman would be, but oh right, because Wily uses him in everything. He's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Ashram Seven in MSN convo brought up Al Snow's head. <laughs> Is he talking to you about Gutsman? No, he was talking to me about wrestling. Uh, I shouldn't really explain it in a Mega Man playthrough because <laughs> WWE and Mega Man have nothing in common. Maybe the guts arm would be like a wrestling move. <laughs> I would like to see, like, if WCW had a Mega Man wrestler. It'd be like the video game wrestling that Baza streams. 
I would have to see him go up against Glacier, who was pretty much Sub-Zero, but a wrestler. Wow, that's pretty effective. It's... is that a tit boob? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's giving me a middle finger, if you want my perspective on it. His, gr his screen window looks like breasts. But that's probably because I am a immature adult man. I am an immature. Oh, wow. right. The scissors do suck against him now. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, yeah, it's because they don't work the way they should. He would have been dead by now if this was the NES. Yeah, game. he would have been like, oh, Mega Man, how could you? Mega Man, you have left me no choice but to use my other secret weapon. And I'll again, the <laughs> state button joke. Oh, God. My other secret weapon. Save Ram Destruction. And now, for you, Arpa, the co-commentator, you will make a musical reference, but then I will shoot you with this ray that will have make you have a memory lapse in the middle of singing it. <laughs> also, your grandfather will intrude and tell you to relax the Christmas lights. I want, I want Grandpa to come in. He's already in bed. Aww. Our Dark Horse Ensemble commentator won't be here. He's already- Go wake him up and see what happens! <laughs> Be like, Grandpa scare cam in the middle of a Mega Man video! <laughs> I'm sorry, but the scare cam would be the reverse of what a scare cam is intended to be. <laughs> okay. It would be the viewers being afraid of the scare cam. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my god! <laughs> I spent mercy in front of my butt. I can't believe I just suggested that. That'd be so great. All right. It only took half an hour, but we did it. You be Mega Man one. <laughs> Too bad the ending will never be as good as Mega Man: The Power Fighters Two, the where evil... Mega Man just totally, I mean, Doctor Wily just totally burns Mega Man, and then while Mega Man's being positively reinforced by his friends, Wily's all, "Well, thanks for the free show, idiots," and then leaves. <laughs> Fight, Mega Man, for everlasting peace. It won't last at all, you moron. Especially not with your fan base. Oh no! Come on, Mega Man, let's fight for Mega Man Legends video taken down. Fighting for peace is like screwing for virginity! I can't even see these credits, Mega Man, slow down! I like how the credits are going in the opposite direction of Mega Man, so you don't know what to focus on. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to be involved in this anymore. <laughs> this is how Mr. Infinite would design a super screen. Oh, <laughs> I still kick it over that grandpa scare cam. I want to see that now. <laughs> well, if I ever feel like um, putting faces of me and my family on the internet, I know what to do first. <laughs> oh, Can't you watch me play Mugen while my grandfather stares into your soul oh, with I thought... his eyes half open? I thought that was the... Um... Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, he's a River City Ransom character! <laughs> da, 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 da. Are we gonna fight that girl now? Oh my god, Dr. Light doesn't have a mouth. Oh my god, Dr. But Light- But he must scream. Dr. Light looks like a freak. Alright. Rolf's eyes cover her entire face, that must be painful. Okay, presented by Capcom, I get it. Can I, can I move on now? No, you have to see Mega Man in his undergarments. Yes, longer. there we go. All right. It assumes that you are ACH exclamation. <laughs> that is an old reference, and I can't believe I made that. Woo! All right. So I included the train wreck footage in a bonus <laughs> link. It was before Mega Man, before we decided to do Mega Man 3 here. You can go check it out. It's it's uh, interesting if you want to see it. Um, you better have that David, yeah, the David Flair Titan Tron footage spliced in. I, I don't know how to edit that well, but I, I am going to include that as a bonus. And we're gonna forget doing the Mega Man 2 Wily stage. I'm just gonna use a code to get through it. I don't want to do it. Cheater. Che yeah, because I want to play a poorly done port. Excuse me. Well, poorly Stop. done in that instance. That like that that fight is poorly done. Well, it's not my fault that this game was ported by Ahuron. Yeah, I know. It, it's good overall. 
What? Well, the Genesis sucks is why. Everything Sega is garbage. Is that a waterfall of blood? It's like... <laughs> oh my gosh, your favorite stage. Hey, did you know in the original game you couldn't shoot those frogs at the Mega Buster while they were on the ground? I forgot that. Seriously, you it actually went through them. Also, check this out. Probably <laughs> because I hate Mega Man 3. Look at how short Proto- Why do you hate Mega Man 3? Like, I don't hate it, I don't love it the most, but what- It's what? too- It, like, you have to go into your inventory screen a lot because they have all these things that you have to do, like Rush Coil and stuff. Also, they lengthen the game in the dumbest way possible. Why, by including the Robot Master? Oh, right. Yeah, that Robot Master's part. It's like, I beat the Robot Masters, just get me to Wily already, I already beat Mega Man 2. And I'm just going through the same levels again, but slightly different. Okay, and, and yeah, but they're they're actually much harder. I don't know. It just looks as arranged to me as arranged mode in Resident Evil Director's Cut, where they put like the crests in a one room over. Okay, the hit stun in this is messed up too. That's good. Oh, so now we're playing with a Mugen China, Mugen China character. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. Should I try it? Um, only if you like horror movies. Oh, so like one of our videos then? Yeah. That'd be like one. That's the bonus footage of Mega Man 2 that I'm going to include as an annotation. It'll be constantly at the bottom of the video. It's going to say click here if you want to. This was made by Tan. This is made by Tan E. P Tan? Oh god, no, okay. That's, that's a different tier of bad. I don't know, I think Tan E is actually worse than P Tan. Worse in a Although, funnier way. Well, yeah. At least it's funny. Could do this in the original. I can't get over how the waterfalls are blood. I can't get over how that looks like underwear to me. Yeah, I'm still focusing on the blood because I'm imagining that instead of Shadow Man, you're going to be fighting Suija. <laughs> Did you see that? That dragonfly went right through me. Look at that. I get Hit the feeling boxes. we're going to fight Transparent Blood Man. Oh, no. <laughs> we're going to be fighting someone making a samurai showdown. He violated rain. his pattern. In fact, he does that quite constantly in this. I believe I could fly. I'm Peter Pan. Look how slow he is. If you believe in yourself, you can fly, Mega Man. He's doing the plane pose that that chick did from Void Quest. Plug. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Void Quest was going to intrude our, on our playthrough somehow. Nothing Quest Infinity. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're going to have poorly rendered official art showing up. And then fan art for the facial expressions that is completely inconsistent. Also, RPG Maker 2 content. We could do that for, like, an opening of the video. We could have, like, Hey, ARPA in RPG Maker font, and you'd be like, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> if I made an RPG with the RPG Maker, the dialogue would just consist of shut up, and then it would all be dungeon crawling, nothing else. Dude, <laughs> shut up! Five minutes later, dungeon. <laughs> Sephiroth is coming to- just shut up! <laughs> aren't I the best- I'm the best at designing RPGs, aren't I? You are. We don't need the intrigue of what Kefka is doing in his Angel Fortress. We just need to fight. We just gotta fight. You like <laughs> fighting? Wesker the RPG. Deep fear of the RPG. Oh, you're running low on MP. Have 30 ethers. <laughs> sweet home, the RPG. Oh, that's a piece of... <laughs> no, sweet home is nothing like deep fear. It's the polar opposite of deep fear. Let's have, like, what, 12 healing items in the course of the whole game with no ends? I forgot how much I love the Shadow Blades. Well, yeah, it's a good weapon. I like how I'm stuck in a running pose. Like, I'm supposed to be in a Chariots of Fire video. You're stuck in a running pose because you don't have State Zero coded properly.
Oh, proto man, the good old days when you were a midget on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't like that in the original. Proto Man actually had height. So now I'm gonna make a joke where Mega Man is a Mega Man 9. He's like, I'm one pixel taller. I'm Mega Man 9, back when the Capcom fan base was not a bunch of whiny children. Mm. Did that even exist? Kind of. This was before Capcom started being retarded, keep in mind. Yeah. But I mean, it goes both ways in that you have to. Yeah. Understand. You have to understand that they want to be the very best. Oh my god, I can't. I, I said that weird. <laughs> Excuse me for a minute while I turn on I my four kids. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking Pokemon too, but unlike you, I was also thinking of Dojin Jesse Hentai. Um, pardon me. You keep Nothing. that to yourself, young man. I know, I'm not Hoshi. We're just making fun of everybody now. You are, I'm, not me. I'm an equal opportunity fun maker. Oh, f oh my god, you see that? <laughs> you know, good thing the artificial intelligence isn't coded by Kamikaze, otherwise the enemies would spaz in place for a moment. Hmm, the enemies would cancel tiger shots and- Oh my- <laughs> Did you just- Let me do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, he gets stuck in his falling state. That's some that's some special stuff right there. I have an idea. Good oh, thing Blue Rush! Uh, hi, Mega Rush. This game's inaccurate. I know. This is like the pot style Mega Man, where it hides its inaccuracy with the Oh! Oh you Bastard, I was right there. This is the Divine Wolf of Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> he fixed that push card, by the way. He took it out. He just, like, took it, like, flat removed it, which is probably the preferred alternative, honestly. Yeah. You really shouldn't have Marvel push guard in a CVS anything. In my opinion, because, you know, I'm a purist, and... Well, there was Junie. Oh my god! I broke the magnet thing! It's not even suck. <laughs> Look at it! Fucking magnets, how do they work? Yeah, I know, they don't! They just stopped. <laughs> Insane Clown Posse's the best. I would know because MC2's a juggalo. Alright. Shots fired. <clears throat> yeah, I know. That's. I still can't wait to have that Mega Man 2 footage as a bonus. That that's a perfect bonus footage, isn't it? Well, once people start streaming their playthroughs of video games, they can make fun of us and how good we are at Mega Man. We? Well, you. Yeah. I'm just here to harshly berate you for every mistake. I know. And make interesting commentary about Grandpa scare cams and... Well, thank God you're not playing a Mugen video and having me judge your skills actively. You should make your grandfather watch a PewDiePie video. I just thought of that. Um, he would just probably just sit there with his eyes half open, and then he's all, I'm gonna go to sleep. Put the scare cam on for that, he'd be like, Ugh. Holy crap, that's some pretty effective magnetism. He would probably say, who's that girl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love how he dances in the air there. I hope that you can trick him like you can in the Mega Man cartoon. Give me five, Mega Dude. <laughs> Well, considering how well you killed him, it might as well have been that. Yeah, I gave him a high five with the Shadow Blade. That's how you do things in real life, right? You just stabbed him in the hand with the Shadow Blade as he was <laughs> reaching for you. <laughs> oh, you fucking bloodthirsty psycho prick! <laughs> Somebody call the police! <laughs> That's what I said Thurman, earlier today. Take this guy! Caddy, Caddy was like, I'm a very forgiving person. I said, I'll slap you with a knife and you probably wouldn't give a shit. Magnet Missile. That I do like that effect. Reminds me of like... I forgot what culture <laughs> class was, <laughs> was, but there was like this poem about this guy's all... It basically, the gist of it was, if you wrong me, I will still love you, or whatever. And then I just... In my report of it, my analysis of it, I'm all, this guy is stupid. If, it, if I were him, I would write a poem about how that guy would wake up in a bathtub full of ice with a missing kidney. 
<laughs> I got an I got a passing grade on that, but the teacher also said, "Are you taking psychology class? And if so, are you a case study?" <laughs> Seriously? Well, something like that. Yeah, I'm serious. That's great. High school, I think, is where the accusations of me being insane were the worst. Because it was around that time Columbine happened and everyone was paranoid. Of you? No, just paranoid in general. Arp was mooking and it's a really scary, guys. I was just an easy target because one, I'm kind of—I was kind of antisocial at the time, and two, I draw really, really weird things in art class. Why are we talking about something so serious in a Mega Man video? <laughs> it's Col not. It's not serious to me. Columbine Mega Man? Are you trying to put something here that I'm not seeing? Well, look at how fast he's swinging on that thing. The Columbine people made fan-made Mega Man ROM hack levels of the high school, so that's why I'm blaming Mega Man and Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Mega Man- oh my god, this is so bad! <laughs> oh my god. We need dark humor for subscribers. No, we need period blood for subscribers. <laughs> we need titles full of as many obscene things as possible for subscribers. Arpa sucks dick while I perform period blood. That sounds like the madhouse of Madness in a nutshell. I didn't know I performed there. Um, when I perform there, in essence, you perform there because we're like mirror entities. Oh yeah, we're the we're we're the we're the guys from a uh, basket cage. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh Jesus God! God! Yeah, you're the you're oh. the little guy in the basket. <laughs> Of course, that's in reference to you going through Wily stages. Oh, yeah. that That's definitely oh, that's it. It's gonna be better in this one, though. This one has really easy Wily stages, I find. Like, Mega Man 3's Wily stages are so pathetically easy in comparison to, like, the rest of the game. The you know main what? hard thing is going to be going through Needle Man stage again. Oh, God. <clears throat> you mean the Rush Jet segment? Yes. So fun. Super duper super fun. Alright, Proto Man, I'm gonna bust your ass with some magnets. You're about to wonder right, how they man, work. I'm gonna rape, I'm gonna rape. Ah! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I used an E-Tank by accident thanks to you! <laughs> You're such an asshole! You scared me into using an E-Tank! <laughs> That's the horror! Your grandpa's gonna wake up and go shut that shit off! I think he just did right now. <laughs> but that's the horror of watching a YouTube partner sponsored video. Okay, this is your fault. You woke your grandpa up. And now he's doing his scare camp face in my direction. <laughs> Seriously? No, I'm being facetious. I hope so. I don't want to hear Bobby <laughs> and then all you'd hear is like a really big slapping noise. <laughs> we would be the new Ultra J Men. <laughs> We'd be the Ultra J Men. <laughs> Only difference between Ultra J Man and I is that I actually have respect. Yeah, you'd take that slap and you'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'd be like, oh, can I have another? <laughs> That's not good. Welcome to the family life of Arpa! It's even more demented than the things he edits into King of Fighters characters. It's more disgusting than his edits with fatal, fatal KOs. It's more disgusting than the fact that he used as many gore sprites as possible just because he thought it was funny, even though they didn't match at all. I like how you can slide under the fists in this one, that's nice. It makes Hard Man not as hard. Ha 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 ha. Seriously, that's the dumbest boss concept in the history of Mega Man. Let me shoot my fist. Why did you just call him Rocket Man or Punch Man or something? You know, all the robot masters had like their own function before being turned into murderous robots by Wily, but what was Hard Man's function? Just being hard? <laughs> uh, he didn't have a function. He was made to kill Mega Man, remember? That's how things. That's how it worked later on. Like. But all the other robot masters, so at least had their uses. Dustman was probably the medium's vacuum in Sweet Home. 
I wish it had his theme song. You know, the best one of the best songs in Mega Man Four. No, oh. what we need is the Jaws theme in eight bit. Oh yeah, dun, 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 dun. yeah. seriously, it was. We need as many horror tropes in our game as possible. Oh my god, it's not as trippy as it was in the original. It doesn't look like pot. He looks like he's growing weed. Look, look at the bottom. Oh wow, he is. It, we're, we stumbled onto a meth lab. Guess it only makes sense that you're here then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least the levels don't look like Action 52 levels. Oh look, there's you. There's your grandpa's oh, half, half. Grandpa, it's his half open eyes, and he's shooting tops at us. I was about to say he's kind of as fat as I am. Oh. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Well, you don't have to worry about that because you're not American, you're Canadian. Oh, don't worry, it's still the same thing down here. Oh, down okay. here? I mean up here. <laughs> we're not your crotch, we're your hat, sorry. Yeah, be a good Canadian and get off my balls. <laughs> they, belong <to> my <laughs> they belong in Mexico's hands, you'll never get a hold of them. Oh, wow, I... I think this is the most controversial commentary segment yet. Oh yeah, I know. Rune is probably gonna want to kill me. I've heard Rune talk once, and then Kame did an impression of him or a fake one, and I and I died laughing because it kind of sounded close. Was there a point where Alex Lexus tried to do an impression of Dark Flares? Oh, that's like. And remember that's... When Dark Flares kind of sounded like PLPO's Piccolo? No, I, I don't. I oh. wish I did now. Because I totally would use that in everything now. I'd be like, I'd have his voice come in on this. <laughs> you... I should still be friends with him just so I can exploit him for his voice and moving characters. <laughs> now, Dark... For this fatality, you will have the character saying, I want to win. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hard no, I had to get disgusted with his ego. Oh, that's that's hard not to do that. True, he is the Clancy of Mugen critics. He's like the nostalgia critic, except he makes Doug Walker look like a genius. No, no, Doug Walker at least is somewhat nice. He is. I mean, you can hate He's... the nostalgia critic, but I can't hate him as a person. He's at least nice. Um, if you want to compare Dark Flares to a that guy with the glasses member, you would either pick Angry Joe, who went to a GameStop and bullied his way into getting a refund, or Spoonie, who's... yeah. Who's Spoonie? Because he spoons people and thinks it's funny. Spoonie, who's... What would happen if you made Chris Chan a middle-aged man? <clears throat> Chris Man, what's his power-up? <laughs> Getting hit Chris by a man's power up is getting attention. I was gonna say getting hit by a car, but that's close to. No, that's what he does to people, not what happens to him. Unfortunately, yes, now, the best weapon. We're really going for the controversy, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're gonna get all the um. Uh, what kind of people all would watch that? Ish. This what? is going to be Mega Man, as done by Wolf Blitzer. This. We're gonna get the nuns fan base of paranoid people because we're making all these jokes. His fan base isn't paranoid, they're blissfully ignorant to everything. Like yours then? No, my fan base is just creepy. Really, really creepy. I don't think any of the nuns fans ever wanted his address. You said the top spin sucked, right? There you go. Yeah. Suck it. Well, I still think it's a terrible weapon. Okay, I can't use it here. It's actually really good. You Remember miss... Top Man and Captain N? <laughs> no. I actually don't. I remember Quick Man. <laughs> Stink Chameleon. Stink Chameleon. Pretty much, Ring Man and Captain N was like the biggest jobber ever. Oh. And he... Top Man, not Ring Man. He wasn't really in, um... In Mega Man 4, Ringman was actually pretty hard. Unless you stayed away from him, but, but yeah, I was like... I kept trying to fight him like I did in that Mega Man 10 fake Wily. Oh, wait, shit, I just spoiled the part of the game, whatever. But, um, 
You've probably seen um, other bosses. Why would you care about spoilers in an 8-bit game that isn't Final Fantasy? Okay, Ma. Relax the lights! Is that what he said? Yeah, his English kind of sucks, so it says things like, Close the TV! Relax the lights! So, the gate is essentially the only thing he says right. Close gate, not close the gate. Are you serious? Yeah. Slow down the volume. Man, your grandfather sounds like he'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, but he's kind of in his own world, so he wouldn't be an effective co-commentator. Is he a nice enough guy, though? Yeah, he's very nice. That's good. That's all he's you need. Chill. He's chill until you put on the grandpa scare cam. No, he'll be too chill. He'll just be staring at you and it'll be creepy. Dude. <laughs> staring at you disapprovingly, I might add. Yeah, he'd be like, why the hell do you play Mega Man? You should be playing some real man's games like Bad Dudes. Where Obama got kidnapped and they didn't give a shit. <laughs> yes, let's recite the funniest joke I made in the last one. Yeah. You know, because we're like PewDiePie. You said we were going to be the PewDiePie of platformers. Let's reuse all of our jokes now. Okay. Um, let's see, is this a boss? <laughs> yeah, that Wait, was we actually... Never we never recorded that one, did we? No, that was, that was, that was a good one, too. That was one, like, before I had a good microphone, or I was confident, one of the two. Oh, wait, no, it was because I didn't have a microphone and you could hear my keyboard. Yeah, the keyboard's not a very good co-commentator like my grandfather would be, I'm sorry. No, the keyboard doesn't close the gate, it just sounds like it's trying to slam it with an earthquake. It doesn't say words that sound like people's names. So look at how fast we're blazing through this game. <laughs> you say it like this game isn't twice as long as all the classic Mega Mans. It is, but that's okay. Now it's time to fight Snake Man, who you should totally use Hard Man's weapon on, just to be funny. Snake Ween Fatality. Whoa, this background looks pretty cool. I like what they did hey, here. We're in Karnat's Lair. <laughs> I don't even know who that is, but it sounds kind of funny. That's a Battletoads level. Oh shit, really? And that was also the second boss of the arcade game. Oh, that snake thing! Oh my god, yeah. The one we never got to, sadly, because it lagged too bad, but it was... The arcade game yeah, both is... both of us sucked. The arcade game legitimately is really good. I just like that it has, like, Microsoft Paint and blood for no reason. You know these enemies are called Snakies? That's stupid. What? What? Snakey? That's the only name that makes sense! It's That's still those, stupid. Did you see those bouncing things that aren't... You know those things at the beginning that were bouncing? At the beginning of the level? They're called... What are they called? Bouncies? Dadas. What?! <laughs> That's the truth! <laughs> this guy's called a Hammer Joe. I think I remember that. That's a Sniper Joe's relative, cause yeah. It's a retarded sniper Joe with a hammer. Why would Only he calls it a hammer because he's too stupid to call it a thing on a string. That's a, that's a, that's a, based on the hammer they toss at the uh, sports events. Just any sports event, because I'm an idiot and I don't know what to do. I don't know anything about sports either. Canadian eSports is just not telling me the truth here. So, this is not extreme lumberjacking? <laughs> I kind of want to know what extreme Paul Bunyan would look like on TV. He'd probably look like Bunyan from Breath of Fire. Yeah. You ready to see it? This is the real Not Bullet Bill enemy that's coming up. Oh boy, freaking rip off. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious. You'll think of it. Oh. Hello, they're hidden in clouds so you can't see the copyright infringement. <laughs> they're Torpedo Teds from Super Mario World, you know those torpedoes? 
this game was taken down by copyright claim of Nintendo. As long as we don't say, um, the two words that Sega does not want to hear, we'll be fine. Yep. As long as these enemies are not prepared to bear your arctic blast. <laughs> you know that video? I'm worried. I'm worried they're gonna find it, but you know what? As long as nothing's obvious, we're good. It'll still live on in audio atrocities. Yeah, they'll never be able to get rid of that. If Sega had any control of audio atrocities, they would already remove the sections for Deep Beer, House of the Dead, and... Sh I'm not saying it. That's like the candle jack of YouTube videos now. <laughs> oh, crap! Wait, what? no, no, I didn't mean it! What? Oh, no! Do we have to take that out now? <laughs> huh, sorry, I was dealing with candle... Yeah, that guy. We have to edit that out, won't I? I didn't say that word, I said candle jack. Oh. Ah. Damn it. Yeah, well, I have to edit that out or not? <laughs> no, there's no such thing as candle jack. I'm trying to be funny. I don't get it. <laughs> well, it should have been relevant then, you idiot. You never saw Freakazoid. Mm. What? You've never watched any episodes of Freakazoid. No, I haven't. I'm sorry. Your life sucks. I know, it's terrible. It's like I have one or something. <laughs> It's like you only watch bad cartoons. Hey, Mega Man! Those fires are not supposed to be blue until you come back for the second time. It's supposed to be red fire, and then they're supposed to shoot blue fire later. I would notice this because I'm a meticulously Mega Man fan. Seriously! You're, prob you're probably the same kind of guy who would review Mortal Kombat in Vance and say, That's not Scor- I mean, that's not Ermac's pose, that's Scorpion's pose! I wouldn't really give a crap about that. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Um, that's a lot of spawning. Wow! Okay! I'll just take that as is. Wave 13 commencing. <laughs> 14, screw it. Mega Man's tower defense. Hey, look, it's Mega Man X League of Legends, the only way to make it even more boring. <laughs> hey, Proto Man! <laughs> now he's gonna bring us to the fun part of the stage. Or we're gonna have to incessantly go into the menu screen every once in a while. Look at all of the babies! The baby. Look at all of them. Hey, did you Other know in the insects. original, the Shadow Blade couldn't actually destroy these, I don't think? I always went for Gemini Man first, so I wouldn't know. Why him? You go for, like, the stupidest things first. Because I'm stupid. I know. <laughs> Even though, to be fair, I kind of asked for that. Oh, everybody does in once in their lives. Like, even me. But those... Airman's kind of normal to go after first. Oh, yeah. I mean, there was a guide to beating his stage in the NES instruction book, according to my my pal, uh, Entropy. Wow, and I thought giving you the strategy guide in the NES version of Zelda was funny. What? <laughs> they did that, too? Well, basically, they gave you a full map and an idea of which dungeon to go for first. That's kind of good, though, considering how cryptic it was. Yeah, and the NPCs made no sense whatsoever. Yeah. If only they had that function in Simon's Quest in the instruction manual. Oh, I'm when trying to remember what the hell those, um, dragon... Woman. What? <laughs> Anyways, I remember what those dragonfly things are called. Uh, anyway. I remember what the dragonfly things are called now, Arf. Are you ready to hear it? Yambo. I have no words. Yeah, you've never had. Whoa! Okay. I can't even reference anything to that. Rambo? 
No, it's not Rambo at all. Unless it's the NES game that makes no sense whatsoever. Where you can turn the, that one guy into a frog. After Japanese symbols, I think. Oh, I see why you went here first. Two free tanks. Yeah. It gives you a lot of stuff and stuff, and Gemini Man's pretty easy to beat. A lot of stuff and stuff. Thank you for speaking very fluent English. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm sorry, I'm not as articulate as Devil Raptor's idea of Kusar and Gito. Don't you worry, I will shove my search snakes right down your throat. Okay. Let's go, Gemini Man. Did you know I played a Mega Man 3 ROM hack where his weakness was the needle cannon, but you had to kill the right clone or else it wouldn't be his weakness anymore? I will they do. I don't know. I think it was an error, but I, I, I don't understand how you wouldn't find that out during the testing process. Mega Man was just like closing his eyes and shrugging his shoulders at that design development decision. Thankfully, it wasn't in the official game, just a silly ROM hack. You got Gemini Laser. Shut up and sleep with me, Gemini Man. I remembered. Okay. Last but not least, Grandpa Man. More like you got cancelled and then Mega Man disappears. <laughs> he looks like he has his eyes half open. There we go. It's your grandfather. He's Spark Man. Yay! I hope we run into a robot master with an afro so it can be me. Oh. Past his prime, man. Oh. Oh, look! Whoa! Okay, those are faster than before. You wonder what they're called? I actually don't know. Susie? They're called Harriet. No, they're not, but I don't know. I think Harriet would be an alright name for him. I'd call them Harlots. I would call them Quinn. I don't know why Quinn, but it sounds like a good name for him. Bizarro Quinn? Mm, sure. I'll act like I know what you're talking about. C-Lab 2021. You don't watch TV. Not too much, actually. Not, not too much anymore. You just sit in the corner of your room wearing a foil hat. Doing homework for the for the blood god, yes. That is indeed how things go. I'm glad you didn't get crushed. You've actually seen somebody who has? I did. Excuse me one moment. He's disowning me. Alright, I'm... Okay. I'll just forget you said... Look at My what, first time playing through... Watch I what I can crushed. do to this guy up. Watch, watch him up top. You ready? Oh. It's one of the most difficult parts of the level, yet... It's still not very hard, man. Ready, ready to see what Sparkman's weakness is? It's the Shadow Blade because he doesn't have hands, so he can't catch a Ninja Star, I guess. Yeah, interesting to note this game doesn't have a full weakness chain. Did you notice that too? Um, not really. Wait. Can you imagine using the top spin to beat every single boss? Uh, kind of make the game riskier. It'd make the game edgier. Edgy man. Da -da -da. And the Spark Shock, aka one of the worst weapons in Mega Man 3. Probably worse than the top spin because at least the top spin can kill things. I think Edgy Man is our commentary. Oh, yeah, indeed. So that are overly sensitive, man. 
Mugen killed, man. <laughs> you got positive reinforcement for your terrible character. <laughs> you got your dick sucked. The weakness to every boss in that Mega Man is pot style. <laughs> okay. Yay! Now we're gonna see why there's so much blood in the stage. Oh yeah, there we go. That makes sense now, doesn't it? It's like these versions of the stages are ROM hacking their own levels. Yeah, it, it's a neat idea, but I mean... I know there was one of them in one of the ROM hacks I played for Mega Man 3. It actually did the levels that weren't given stages like this and made them like that instead. In order to add difficulty, they throw in Suija, no, with the like, Samurai Shonen 5 special AI. Yeah, yeah but what, what happened was, so that instead of doing, like, Shadow Man stage, it was like a Top Man stage one. And his weed stash, it all dried up. So it looked all, like, brown and stuff. So who was first here, do you remember? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, good, thanks for being a real freaking helpful guy. You're welcome. Alright. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say it's a Spark Shark that's gonna win. Probably not now, but you know. Hello, extremely happy person. Wait, he doesn't assume the form of the robot master he's supposed to be. No, they don't. They did that in the NES version, didn't they? Nope. They were always a uh, vessel. My memory's really off. Mmm, that's new. Well, I guess it worked for Sweet Home. Yeah, for the time I spent playing it. And then everyone died. Everyone died because Mr. Infinite quit moving. Oh yeah, Mr. Infinite made Sweet Home, can you imagine? The doll throws you in the air and then juggles you with a throw. The doll uses Krauser's Kaiser Wave, but it doesn't cost any meter. The Cause... doll's hit depths are wrong. The doll is doing chain combos. You know what's funny is that you probably need those on to actually get anything done with any of his characters. Um, I would imagine. Because they, they do- they do such bad damage. It's like Buckus- yeah, We don't need to dampen damage or anything, just make all the damage values really low. Oh, no, they do that and there's a damage dampener in there. Like okay, let, let's make sure your fights last hours to compensate for the combo ability. Oh, and of course, Can loves it, but you know, it's Can, so whatever. He's the guy who thinks you can hit up close with Dalsum's ranged attacks. <laughs> yeah! I'm glad somebody else remembers that. He also thinks King of Fighters 13 works in ways we can never comprehend. Oh, it's just Can. I think it was Heat Man that was here. Was it? Um, yes, yeah, I was right. You're right. You still don't get no prizes. What? Hey, you missed, pal! You know what his weakness was, oddly enough? Getting fisted? Oh, the top spin. Oh, oh I get it. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> That's actually- Oh my god! That I totally... discovered a secret of Mega Man. That totally makes sense! <laughs> That's so good! Plus one to ARPA forever. Even though that doesn't actually work. Depends on what kind of surface you're on. Well, my surface is highly flammable paper. Don't do it on- Yeah, don't stop, drop, and roll on your friggin' sandpaper, you moron. <laughs> I'm gonna stop, drop, and roll on glass and pointy objects. Stop, drop, and roll! Grandpa, get out of the way! <laughs> 
If he was on fire, he wouldn't give a damn. <laughs> He'd sit there and go, can you close the gate? <laughs> he would just be changing the channels on the TV still. <laughs> hey, quick, change the channel! Sorry. <laughs> Help me find Rosling! <laughs> oh, we're doing Needleman now. And I gotta admit, I like how this looks. Oh, hey, I remember it's the what, introduction stage from Mega Man X. I remember how those needle guys- I remember what those, uh, needle guys are called. N it wasn't- and their name is not- not Sonic, unfortunately. They're called Needle Harrys. Needle Harrys. Yes! Like a hairy needle. You <laughs> I'm- I'm having a Ms. Girl face going on right now. <laughs> You're making Nirvana's face right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm making a Yu-Gi-Oh card face. Like, of all the things to associate with yourself to a junky equipment card, I'm not gonna go into Yu-Gi-Oh jargon, I'm sorry. Well, that's alright, you can play your little boy card games all you want, but let me tell <laughs> Yeah, let me tell you about playing Genesis games on an emulator. Oh fuck, this is the hardest one. Are you serious? It's Airman. Yeah, he was hard on the NES one with this. Airman's never hard. He is what is when the buster's not his weakness anymore. You mean the buster doesn't do two things to him at a time? No! I think that's the hard knuckle now. That hard knuckle only did two! Can you guess why I said I think that's the hard knuckle now? Oh, it's a spark shock. There we go. God damn it! No, oh, I get it. Lightning electrocutes the air somehow. <laughs> Stop trying to make sense of a Mega Man game. You're getting nowhere. Dr. I got Dick. somewhere with stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, that was alright, but I mean, like, this one... This one's just you being grossly trying to be funny too hard, 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 knuckle. It's me trying to be a YouTube partner. Don't worry about it. I I'll get us a partnership eventually. It's me trying to be best friends play junk. Oh, pfft, pfft. <laughs> We could be like Batman Piter, man. Mmm, I can't capture the magic. Neither can I. Granted, with video editing, we could splice our voices together, but I mean... With video editing, it, we could make this into an echo chamber of hell. Oh my god. Add echo to it and play it in reverse, and we'll have, like, creepypasta, though. <laughs> the Mega Man video. Creepypasta in the sense that there are human beings on the face of this earth that would do such editing? Yeah. Anyway, it's time to get out the SP. I can't wait till we do the Game Boy Mega Man games and I go through a Lechman stage first and Wily's Revenge and just make you look like a tool. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that one part with the fan that blows you off the top of the mount- I'm the top of the place. Top of the mountain! Like what the hell, Lechman stage are you playing? I'm playing the ROM hack on drugs version. At top of the stage, and there's like this fan that you have to. Okay, all of a sudden the tornado stopped blowing me. <laughs> okay. You have to like overcome these phasing platforms while the fan's blowing you away. That's just BS. No, not really. It's not too bad. Especially with Game Boy physics. They're all right, actually. It's not too hard. You're just you're just bad at Mega Man. Screw you. <laughs> Die. Be like evil Ryu from Street Fighter AE. Die! I'm gonna be like evil Ryu from Street Fighter AE and be completely boring. I have an axe kick, guys. 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 Of course more people would pick him than regular Ryu because they think he has evil before his name, therefore it must be easier to win. Granted, Kamikaze has a pretty decent one. He, he tries. 
Yeah, I played. Well, at least Kamikaze tries with anything he does. Oh, of course. Except when it comes to coding Gohan. <laughs> Would you stop? Or you leave him alone about that, or I'll bring up 2009 ARPA. Or coding Kakuji Yaro characters. Those are alright. Are you serious? Yeah, because they're all in their own full game. Yeah. I will just let you say that. Well, why? What's wrong with them then? Come on, go on. They're horrible. Oh, yeah, why then? Elaborate. Let's see, the animation timings are junk, the velocities are retarded, the effects are retarded. And guess used. where he got them from? Where? The game. Yeah, but he still used them poorly. Aw, oh, damn it! What?! Like, everything about them is bad, even Kamikaze would agree. Well, yeah, he said he's gonna redo them eventually. Granted, I think there is no such thing as a good Kakuji Yaro character in Mugen. I don't know. Like, there's Reika, which ripped off Tetsu so horribly, that was bad. Tetsu was bad. <laughs> oh, wait. And you're... Tetsu's like the only one that people care about. Oh, wait, Kakuji. So oh, I thought you were talking about his Yu Yu. Oh, I got it mixed up. No, I was talking about Kakuji Yaro. Oh, you shit. I the show characters, I guess, are good. Oh, I thought you were talking. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean the freaking Edward and Belmont? That those guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Now I get it. I was wondering why you were defending those. Yeah, I, was, I thought you were talking about the Kakuji. Uh, ah! The Japanese names! Uh, whatever. If I ever get around to making one, I will be the first person to actually use the masks. You can draw faces on your Kakuji Yaro character. Are you serious? Why has yeah, nobody done awesome. that yet? That's pretty cool. Because they don't want to rip it. Because it's kind of hard to do it, like, through helpers. So you'd have to rip it with the body sprites. Ooh, that would be difficult, yeah. And nobody in the history of Mugen wants to use art money. Yeah, because it's tedious. Well, yeah, I can say from personal experience that art money is tedious. But how else am I going to get my Samurai Showdown data? What you want? Oh my god! Ali. Why is their hitbox so big? It's because the hitboxes were done by Jam Mugen members. This is like the most pathetic video we're ever gonna upload. So much Mega Man 2 failure, so much Mega Man 3 failure. The only thing done right was Mega Man 1. And even then we had a Lech Man. And Mega Man 1's supposed to be the hardest of the main games? I don't think it is at all. I don't either, but everyone else thinks otherwise. Oh, it's because they can't beat Iceman stage because they're stupid and they don't use the Magnet Beam. They probably go for Iceman first. I've done that before. In fact, I like to do that. It just... I just do it on my own time. I don't really record those kind of ones because, uh... There's always a lot of death. Didn't IGN, like, put that above Battletoads on the hardest games of the NES? Okay, okay, no, 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 there was wrong, no- Wrong, 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 you're wrong. I'm sorry, that's just, no, you- Mega Man did not have a turbo tunnel. There is no way in- There is no way. That Mega Man is harder than Battletoads. <laughs> Mega Man wasn't full of shit. Exactly! It also didn't make co-op unwinnable. It didn't even have co-op, but still, it wouldn't make it unwinnable. Yeah, I mean, go. like, literally unwinnable. Yeah, I know, like... Although there was, like, in Mega Man X6, you could make the game unwinnable. Yeah, all you gotta do is put in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's as close as you can get. 
in all seriousness, no, on one gate stage, I got myself into an unwinnable corner. I had to restart the PlayStation. Oh my god, I would have been so mad. I was pissed. Worst thing I've ever rented. And then played through again when I got the X collection. Oh, no, I thought you were going to talk about X7 for a minute, or X8. No, X8 is forgettable. But it was X7 is just terrible. And X8 wasn't as bad as 6? Okay, X8 is like five times better than 6, which isn't saying much. It's like the good Mega Man X game stopped at X4. Yeah, X4 was like... Like the, the pinnacle. Best. Yeah, to me it was the best, yeah. It may have been easy, but it got everything else right. Well, well, easy up until Sigma. That was a big battle of endurance. Even then, Mega Man 5 was easy, and it was one of the best Mega Man games. No, it sucks. It's terrible. You can crouch during a run. Oh yeah, Mega Man 5 is so bad because everybody else says it's bad, so therefore I have to say it's bad. Yeah, this is- we're a part of the Mugen Guild community. Okay, who's the last boss? No, wait, if we were part of the Mugen Guild community, when- as soon as I said 5 was bad, someone would try to White Knight Mega Man 5. That would be me! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I- I would just- I would just humbly disagree. Well, oh. that's because you're not an idiot. Oh, God. It's Crash Man. It's Crash Boy. Imagine a ROM hacker like just making them completely random robot masters from all the series. And even if you like die and go back, it'll be a completely different robot master. That would be cool. So you'll never be able to adjust. That would be cool, but at the same time, really hard. The only thing that can be worse than those robo lens in UKG's little game. Oh yeah, those. Oh, you you actually got that far? Yeah. It's easy to get that far because you can have like a million E tanks in the options. That's what I had to do to fight the robo lens, you know. I only had to use the E tank once, and that's because no, twice. Once on. I, I think it was Piter Man because his weakness was the bomb and that weapon sucked. His weakness is the knuckle, dude. No, wait, then that must have been. Z Man. Z yeah, Z Man. That's. <laughs> was I he... had to use that on Z Man because the bomb was garbage. Was he as bad as I told you he was? Yes, all of the other bosses are so easy. Then you get to Z Man. Yo. Yeah, that, that is. is... Unbalanced difficulty. Super Mario Kart difficulty curve going on there. And now you're going to be fighting a Microsoft PowerPoint question mark. It's, it's the nun's unreleased clip it character that everybody seems to want now for some reason. Only I have it and none of you do and I didn't even have to suck the nun's dick. How do you like me now? I also have his Alex. Remember that? Remember me, Mega Man? Sorry. <laughs> Anthony Higgs better be in the next Super Smash Brothers. Like, when he revives on the revival platform, he can, like, tell all the opponents, Remember me? Oh, he's the guy who did Bomb Man's voice? He's... Yeah, he's the black guy. Black... Bomb Man is black. Yeah, Metroid Other N... M, not N, Anthony Higgs. <laughs> Metroid Other N... Metroid Other N, what would that stand for? Like, um, the other... Nintendo Power score of zero? They gave it a zero? I don't know what they gave it, but I don't think even Nintendo Power would like it. I remember everybody was like so hyped up because the screenshots of it looked really good, and then it came out and people were really disappointed or either really happy with it or really disappointed. It was like super mixed. And then the, it's it, super mixed because Metroid. Oh my god, another Metroid! But then when you actually play the game, it's a train wreck. <laughs> oh my god! Hi, Metal Man! If only... He, please tell me he's weak to the Shadow Blade. Please tell me the Shadow Blade one hit kills him. You know what? Nope. 
No, it doesn't. So he's the only thing that can one hit kill him is metal blades, not shadow blades. Well, yeah, cause yeah, I don't know why. I think there was like a programming issue that might have happened. It's like how the quick boomerang can kill that giant fish in the Wily stages in the original Mega Man 2, but it can't do it here. Mega Man 2 is weird in general, but I guess that's why I liked it. I guess that's why you're a freaking moron and think it's the best one when it had so much poor design choices. It's the funnest, okay? Seriously, that final boss is the dumbest thing ever. At least make it, like, at least make every weapon partially effective on it. You don't have to make it all super effective, but for God's sakes. But at least the build-up to the boss was awesome. Oh yeah, that was great. Too bad the boss but itself was disappointing and forgettable. Except for It's the disappointingly enjoyable, like Castlevania. Oh yeah. It's a good game, but it's disappointing. <laughs> Let me guess, you got crushed there too? No. Oh. I learned my lesson the first time. I learn from my mistakes. I learn not to take a sip of lemonade while that happens. That's what happened? You took it? Oh my god. Yeah, I was getting my lemonade, a sip of my lemonade, and I got crushed. I didn't know that something was going to come from the vent. I know, I sound like the world's dumbest Mega Man player to you right now. Wow, I didn't know his weakness was a search snakes. Huh. So, that was just intuition? Yeah! I figured, okay, well, you're quick enough, but can you escape the power of my penis? Or out of that, or... It's out of that, or you're so quick, but I can find you anyways, right? Your compatibility with the dock robots is... <laughs> can you imagine getting Naru's weapon? You just punch people into space. They never come back. <laughs> you got Matoko's sword. Oh my god. Yeah, that would one-shot any male thing. So every other Robot Master except for Splash Woman... Okay, they got it in reverse! The fire was supposed to be red the first time you came here and blue the second, not blue the first and red the second. I'm glad that was an issue you needed to pause for. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it totally was! That's my OC- <laughs> That's my Mega Man 3 OCD kicking in. Because I play every one of these games a lot. Okay, the next time Ahuron makes a Mega Man character, I want your painfully in-depth feedback. You do? You actually want me to download it and do that? I swear to god, uh, I will. Review his Infinity Manigian. I don't even- I, I haven't played X6 in so long, and I'd rather not start. <laughs> okay. That's kind of, uh... I didn't even bother downloading it because I don't want to be anywhere near that boss ever again in my whole life. Oh, I swear, the biggest assholes in Capcom, the one that's making all the business decisions now, must have designed X6. It's gonna be Inafune all along. <laughs> Inafune just laughs at everyone while he puts box art Mega Man in another game <laughs> that I can't play. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gotta be on a... I, because I have no control of that console. The other thing is, that game has to be garbage, too. Yeah, it has to be unplayable in the sense is if I played it, I wish I would die in seven days. Let's make all the good stuff the stuff you have to pay for, but still not make the game good. Like, it had potential. But, like, initially it looked pretty fun. Like, and then, game turned out to be an unpolished piece of shit. Yeah, like, during the testing stages and, like, during, like, previews and stuff, it looked like a, like a really cool game. The, the effects were good, and everything was gonna be all great and dandy, and then all of a sudden... And then, yeah, then all of a sudden, Alex Lexus had to bust out the garden. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you at least try to see his podcast? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to do that now. I saw Soul Bad Guy Z and just exited out immediately. What? I don't want to. I don't want to deal with both at once. What? Soul Bad Guy Z was on this podcast. Yeah. Oh my god! I have to do it now. I warn you, it'll probably be a gauntlet from hell. Oh man, I'm totally gonna listen to it. I'm totally gonna do it now. Oh my god! 
That was the selling line. Soul bad guys. -y. Holy shit. Only way that could okay, possibly Okay, you ready for me, my meticulous nature to note another stupid thing? Check this out. Look at the back of the marine. It's red. Okay. It's red, but Rush is blue. Wow. That's horrible. I hope the people who made this game feel bad about themselves. <laughs> oh, no, don't go away! Oh, my God! This game must have been developed by Wu Shack. All I can picture... This is King of Streets, Mega Man. All I can picture saying, Mega Man saying to Rush is, Don't run away! I don't think Mega Man is as awesome as Gally. He could be if he had his power. Now I've got your power. <laughs> oh, man. Now I've got your power to fight entirely with the triangle button. Seriously, Evil Zone, You there's one button for attacking, and you use directional buttons, like single directional buttons for special moves, and one button for blocking, and that's it. Man, and it's still probably better than Sweet Fighter Cross Tech but I'm sh It's basically if you combine Super Smash Brothers with Toho. Uh, pardon me. Toho is a sin. Hmm, Toho is just something that doesn't deserve to exist. Well, to me, Toho is what it is, what it should be a shmup, and it should stay a shmup. No, it should. It just should not be existing. It's the biggest excuse for pedophilia since ever. Oh, they're like, 400 uh, years old. They just look like little girls. Yeah, why do people do that? Jesus Christ, Bubble Man, calm down. I'm gonna. That's not how it's. I'm a sexual deviant, but I, I, I'm gonna try to feel good about myself. I think that's pretty much all the time we have, eh? Yeah. We got like all right. seven Thank more you minutes. For dealing with us, commentating like horrible people. Oh yeah, there was that too. But I mean, now that we got all that out of the way, we can fight. Oh, let's, let's finish Breakman first. Okay. Ah, Proto Man, you're still short. AKA Mortal Kombat Proto Man. No, Proto Man Act Zero. That's what he is. Proto Man what? Act Zero. You know Bomberman Act Zero? Oh, God. Best Bomberman game ever. Even better than the Nintendo 64 Bombermans. I like Bomberman Hero. I, I do too. I have that game still. I need to play that again. That was a sick game. I remember it so much. It had some really good music. Yeah, I, the music was the main thing, not so much the level design, but the game was still fun. Oh yeah, the level design was good, but it, it, like, it's certain- Well, not that good. Well, it was alright. But the music was so catchy, you'd want to keep- uh oh. Oh no, right after we received the last- Oh no, I have a mouth. Element- Element? What? Elementary, my dear Dr. Light. Uh oh. Ba -na 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 no. You are a YouTube Let's Player now. Yes, I am. But you saying He's winking at you, selling your soul. Yes. So I got a partner. Are you ready? Ready to see how I get a YouTube partnership? <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna get us a YouTube partnership. Fuck, bitch! Sit, come on, fuck. You ready to hear mine? All right. There. How was that? No, here's mine. Over 9,000 Pokemon, arrow to the knee. Oh my god, I want to fucking stab myself for saying all that. Good, because this is where the video ends. Hey, yeah, bye, guys. We'll come bye, back people. next time. See ya after the seppuku. Ah! Wait, no. Oog! Ah! <laughs>